Today is all about eating the most delicious island foods here in Turks and Caicos and man, I am so excited for this day. We're starting out at one of the most popular restaurants in all of Turks and Caicos, the Conch Shack. And we're already here. It is right on this beautiful beach. I feel like today is going to be a lot about the food, but also a lot about where we're eating the food and the views that we have while we're eating it. And this one's gonna be pretty hard to beat. It really would not be right to start any Caribbean food day without a delicious rum punch. Man, these things can be strong. I haven't tried this one yet. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Sometimes they put a lot of spices in it and it's so delicious. Ooh, that definitely packs a punch. It's so good. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like orangey with like a little bit of like grenadine maybe and like some spices and a lot of rum. I am gonna be ready for our conch fritters. We ordered so much delicious food here and yeah, this is just honestly like, this place is perfect with the rum punch, the beach, the palm trees, like it is the perfect vibe. Okay, Jacob and I have actually been debating this and we also looked it up and we can't decide if it's conch or conch. It said British was conch and American was conch. So I don't know, call it whatever you want but we got some fritters. I've never actually tried conch before, but I think it's just like battered and fried. So let's give it a try. We've also got some dipping sauce here. Mmm, mm. that is so good. It's, there's pieces that are so, I don't know if it's the conch, like so hard to chew, like really, really hard. I think, I don't, I don't know. I've never tried anything like this before. It's so delicious though, and the sauce is just a little bit sweet, but also like tangy and tart. It's so good. It's like, I honestly don't know what to compare this to. Maybe like, whoa, look at how blue the water is right now. I just got so distracted. Look, 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 I don't know, okay. I guess it tastes like, like fried seafood but like softer on the inside and then super, super crunchy on the outside. It's so interesting to try a food that I've never even thought about before, but coming to Turks and Caicos, it's like, oh, that's the number one thing to try. So of course we're gonna order it for our first dish. Try it with or without the dipping sauce with, first? For sure. With, okay. It's chewy. Like the outside is crunchy, but then the inside, which I'm assuming is the conch or conch, however you <laughs> wanna say it, either way, I think I like it so far. It definitely has an interesting texture that doesn't come, like it almost has a texture like squid or octopus. I pulled this little piece out of the fried ball and I believe this is just the conch. It's uh, it's so hard to bite through. It's so weird. Just, it's almost like you have to like swallow this little piece. It's so interesting. I mean, the fried dough and the sauce, it makes it taste better, but this by itself, very, very chewy, but honestly, it tastes better than I was expecting, but Jenny doesn't like it. <laughs> Give me all the fried dough and sauce. <laughs> if you didn't know, this is these giant shells that you find on the beach. They are the conch shells with the like points there. I never knew this was called the conch until now, and now we're eating it. <laughs> You're supposed to like blow into that too and yeah. like makes the noise. We got a traditional Turks and Caicos dish here. So Johnny like style I think is like black beans. You can get like Johnny cakes. We decided to get Johnny fries. So it's black beans with uh, like pepper sauce and then local Turks and Caicos salt. They make a lot of salt here. I don't think I've ever tried black beans on french fries before. So I guess we'll just give it a try. Mmm. Yeah. I mean, it tastes pretty much exactly how you would expect. Black beans and fries. The salt is really nice. I will say, it's like almost like seasoned salt. Gotta try a little Peppa Joy. We're big hot sauce people. And I feel like every Caribbean island we go to, they always have their own hot sauce. Oh, there's not, it's just gonna dump right out. That might have been a lot. Oh well. I can handle my heat fairly well. Hmm. Oh wow. Mmm. It tastes almost like a mango habanero. It is quite spicy, honestly. You should definitely not use that if you can't handle spice. Mmm. I really like it though. Wow, it's so good. It's sweet. 
It's definitely sweet and spicy, not very salty. We've had this macaroni dish pretty much in every Caribbean island we've gone to. It's just baked mac and cheese, but it's almost like a casserole. Mmm, mmm. This is the best one I think I've ever had. It's so soft. Oh, so soft and cheesy. Actually, I'm gonna put a little of that pepper sauce on it, and I bet it's gonna be amazing. The beans are interesting. Yeah, I guess we have had black beans on fries before, like carne asada fries. Ooh, that's good. And then the sauce, I got a little bit of that. The pepper joy? It says it's uh, made by a US Army vet. That's interesting. But then he had roots to the Caribbean islands and he just made that. That's pretty cool. Sauce is good. That's good. But my favorite thing of the three dishes we have here is probably the conch fritters. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And this guy just like started swimming in the ocean. He's probably an employee here. And he's just picking up a bunch of conchs out of the water and then he's like opening them up and people are trying them. I guess it really doesn't get much fresher than that. They're literally right there. That's so wild. That was some pretty good food. Now we'll walk on the beach a little bit and then head over to our next restaurant. We're sitting in this giant chair at the conch shack and I just think it's crazy. There's conch everywhere. I don't know if they're like harvesting them over there, but like every single step there's like three or four conch. We've drove past this sweet spot little truck here multiple times and so we figured now's the time to try it. They were out of fried chicken and we really wanted fried chicken. So on to the next place. Cheers. Looks good. This is such a fun place. We're at Sweet Teas and we are the only non-local here. It's pretty cool and we got a $3 combo for chicken and fries. We wanted to film it out there but it's so windy so we came in the car. It seems wet like what other people are doing too. So we have a fork with the fries and there's, they just squirted some ketchup on there. Mm. Good fries and for $3 too. That's the best deal on Turks and Caicos for it's sure. Seriously, that's amazing. Probably cause only locals are here. And then there's like, I don't know how many, there's at least like three of these, like just little drumsticks. That's crazy for $3. For $3 and I mean, yeah, we just paid like $50 for our first meal. Ooh, so crispy. Oh, that's good. Like it's a small chicken wing, but mm -hmm. that's delicious. And there's three of them, $3. Ooh, <laughs> I like this. I'm also gonna try it, but we're headed to the beach and I really wanna eat mine on the beach, so. Okay, honestly, Jacob just made it sound too good, so I just have to try it. Oh my goodness. I think that's truly the best fried chicken I've ever had. And I don't normally love fried chicken, but oh my gosh, this is so crunchy and oh my gosh. It's so <laughs> Try to talk and eat at the same time. It's so good. It's literally so good. This is, you have to come here when you're on Providence Shallows. Sweet teas, fried chicken. Also, it's an insane bang for your buck. Like this is, this is crazy good and it's so cheap. Honestly, we could have just eaten this and going to the grocery store is more expensive than eating this. Well, okay, and we also got, mm. I, I forgot to mention, we got a Goombay Punch. Oh yeah, we oh, got- Where it is. We there got, it is. Mm -hmm. Goombay Punch from the Bahamas here. Mm, try it. We got, we have tried this in the Bahamas before. I don't really remember what it tastes like. I think it's like super sweet punch, but yeah, a drink, chicken, and fries all for $3. You truly cannot beat that. Oh. I do not remember it tasting like this at all. It tastes like Mountain Dew. Oh, that's weird. I remember liking it. I'll give it a try. Oh my gosh. Mountain Dew? Yeah. Or like Sprite or Mountain Dew mixed with Sprite. But it's like, it's like a fruity yeah. kind of taste. Yeah. I mean. Not yeah. like Fruit Punch at all though. And if you look at it, it's like light green inside. <laughs> that's weird. I don't know. I think it's good. It was hectic <laughs> to put it lightly to get to Long Bay Beach but we are here and we get to enjoy the rest of our chicken and fries and Goombe punch. This is just pretty nice over here. I mean we're really close to private property but it's fine and we just get to 
enjoy these fries and they're actually not too cold because we kept them in the, the tin foil the whole time. So this is nice, a quick little snack and then we'll head off to our next restaurant which is mostly on Long Bay Beach but I think it's also on a marina so we get a really nice view of like the boats and stuff like that. But well, what do we have here? Oh. This thing's freaky now that I know that I can eat it. God. Well, we were trying to find a restaurant, but <laughs> the rains might have messed up this road. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. We're gonna go to Mangrove Bay, but... Well, we're actually first gonna go to Sail Shades, yeah. but... I... I don't think we can get there. Probably bad for business. We've rested our stomachs, we are ready for dinner, and we're here at Mangrove Bay Restaurant. We're trying at least a few things here and it all looks pretty good. I'm so excited. This place looks so good. I think I'm gonna be fancy and get the lobster. I did read that that's very popular here in Turks and Caicos though, so I am doing the local thing. We also got a Turks Head Brewery beer. It's actually just right down the street. Like we passed by the brewery as we were driving here. Also, we're the only people here and we have an insane view. Like. All of the places here that we've eaten at, the views are just beautiful. Well, I mean, Sweet Tea's was in a parking lot, but we ate it on the beach, so I think it counts. All right, so we got the light beer. It says, I soon reach. <laughs> oh yeah, that's really good. It's super light. It almost just feels like I'm drinking like water with a little bit of like the wheat in it. Oh, I like that. That's a really good beer. We have so many things to try here. We have conch and rice, lobster, barbecue ribs, coleslaw, baked mac, peas and rice. The list goes on and on. So I actually found this place when I was researching where can you see flamingos in Provo. And they said that you can see flamingos here. And we've seen a ton of birds. They're like the stork looking ones. No flamingos yet though, but we're keeping our eye out. Also, if you do come here, it is beautiful during this like golden hour the, like five o'clock hour it's just the light is hitting the trees and the bay just beautifully our food just arrived and it looks fantastic i do want to say one thing about the turks head beer they are the only brewery in turks and caicos they opened in like 2001 and they sell like two million beers so <laughs> that's pretty cool and i tasted it it's pretty good I have the barbecue ribs, the conch and rice, and the coleslaw. Coleslaw just looked like it was so common among like every single dish. You just get that as a side. What should I try first? I'll try the rice first. Because I mean, when you're in Turks and Caicos, you got to eat conch as much as possible, I guess. <laughs> there is conch everywhere. Yeah, seriously. That doesn't have a ton of flavor. She did bring us hot sauce. I got you. Maybe yeah, pour it on there. I mean, but I don't think it's really supposed to. It's just rice and then you got that, um, that conch that, I mean, we already ate in this video. Oh. Is it spicy? That's some good. I don't know if this is local at all. It says Louisiana. There we go. Louisiana pure hot sauce. It may be product of the USA. Yeah, either way, it's delicious. And then the coleslaw, saving the ribs for last. I don't... Um, I really don't like coleslaw, but I figured I might as well give it a try. Definitely don't hate it, so that means it's good. <laughs> <laughs> There's four ribs, three ribs here. So not a ton, but it was also one of the cheapest things on the menu. And ribs are usually expensive for us. Oh, mm. oh that just falls off the bone. That's awesome. There you go. There's like nothing on there. Not too sweet, not too spicy either. I think it's just right. Pretty decent rib. Okay, so I got the lobster. Honestly, I did not expect it to be fried like this, but I'm kind of glad that it is because I don't have to like crack it, you know? Also, these guys are playing mahjong, I think, behind me. It's like just them and us. Okay, squeeze a little lime on here. I don't think I've ever had fried lobster. I'm excited to see how it tastes. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that's probably the best thing I've eaten today. Wow. Especially with that lime squeezed on it. And I think this is like tartar sauce almost. That's delicious. And then I got peas and rice. Although 
But when I'm looking at the peas, they honestly just look like beans. Like this is a pea. I think it's just beans and rice, but they call it peas and rice. That's so interesting. I put the hot sauce on the rice and beans or peas. It's so good. I love hot sauce. Peas and rice is like what, like the most common dish that yeah. we saw on like every menu. Yeah, peas and rice. I also got the baked mac and cheese and it's just so good. I love the top. It's all crispy and gooey. Mm. I also need to try one of Jacob's ribs. Just gave me a little piece of it here. Oh, Jacob, that's so insanely good. Yeah, I started eating it and then like the more I ate it, the more I liked it. I think the lobster and the ribs, definitely the best thing we've had all day. I don't know, the fried chicken was too good though. I think that, because I'm a value kind of guy, $3 for that. Yeah. This was also a pretty good deal though. My lobster was 25 and the baked ribs were 15 and like at the other restaurant that we went to, the lobster was $42. So this is a pretty good deal too. I'm so grateful that we got to try those three restaurants and I think they were all really solid. I am so full, but honestly by far my favorite favorite thing was the ribs. They were so good and tender and the meat and the sauce. It was amazing. I'll take sweet teas for the $3 combo. And don't forget we are hosting group trips. So make sure that you fill out the survey and tell us where you want to travel with us. And we'll be in Turks and Caicos for a while. So stay subscribed for that.